Question 29. Uh, did Jesus say a believer could go to hell? Um, this is a question in a playlist called 50 Hot Potato Questions for Christians. Uh, did Jesus say a believer could go to hell? Uh, Jesus recorded uh, in the Gospels uh, that uh, if you don't uh, uh, forgive uh, your brother, neither will he forgive you. So if Jesus hasn't forgiven you, uh, then your sin isn't forgiven and you'll end up in hell. Um, Jesus uh, taught uh, the narrow way and uh, Jesus says narrow is the way that leads to life and few find it. Uh, but broad is the way that leads to destruction and destruction's another word for hell. And uh, some people uh, imagine uh, wrongly uh, that uh, they're on a narrow way because they've uh, decided to follow Jesus. But uh, Jesus' way is really a narrow way. And uh, you can uh, look at uh, my three books on the narrow way uh for more information on that i've got a book on the parables of jesus and what they mean i've got a book on the commandments of jesus and uh, how to follow them and i've got another book on the narrow way i've got a series on the narrow way that will teach you how to be on the narrow way but uh, jesus uh, said in matthew 7 uh, depart from me you who practice lawlessness, uh, I never knew you. Um, and uh, Jesus was saying that uh, to people who spoke in tongues, uh, people who did signs and wonders, healings, prophesied, and miracles. Uh, they're definitely Christians. And uh, so there's a breed of uh, Christians. There's a type of Christian that you can be, uh, that uh, you can be a believer and be sent to hell. Um, there's about uh, 10 parables um, that uh, Jesus shares uh, where uh, if uh, you don't do the right thing, uh, you'll end up in hell. And uh, those uh, parables were said uh, to his disciples. Uh, they were uh, for believers. Um, and uh, I've got a book called The Parables that disqualify you from going to heaven and i'd encourage you to read uh, that book um, uh, going to heaven uh, is uh, a narrow way uh, having the ability uh, to go to heaven is a privilege and uh, uh, jesus is uh, pretty insistent uh, 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 in uh, his parables, the way that he teaches uh, the person who uh, was let uh, go a big debt uh, in the parable uh, and uh, then uh, took uh, his servant and put his servant in prison because he owed a smaller debt. Uh, he was he was caught and uh, 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 the person who forgave his debt uh, threw him into prison with the torturers, uh, and the torturers uh, uh, is a symbol of hell. Uh, Jesus taught uh, the parable of the sheep and the goats, uh, where uh, the sheep uh, went to heaven and the goats uh, went uh, to eternal torment. And uh, uh, to be a sheep... Uh, you need to uh, be a person that has mercy and uh, forgives uh, people's debts and uh, a person who feeds the hungry and feeds the thirsty and visits uh, people in prison and visits people in hospital. Um, being a sheep is uh, being a good-hearted person. And uh, uh, I can say that... Uh, uh, the sheep and the goats parable uh, is uh, very much uh, identifies uh, the sort of uh, person uh, that uh, deserves uh, to go to heaven. And uh, I believe personally, like I've shared, 
that uh, people who've never heard the gospel will be judged uh, by the parable of the sheep and the goats. Um, so uh, there's many instances uh, in uh, Jesus' parables uh, which uh, warn people about uh, a lifestyle that uh, they need to live in, in order uh, to go to heaven. Um, and so uh, just uh, saying a sinner's prayer and uh, going to church on Sunday isn't uh, going to uh, guarantee you uh, to go to heaven. Uh, you've got to uh, live your life on the narrow path and uh, you've got to be seen uh, to be doing uh, the will of God uh, with your life and not just living a religious life. I pray that uh, this uh, teaching has blessed you.